Hello, and welcome back to Rongmar. In today's lesson, we're taking a first look at pictograms. Our Walt for today is to understand what a pictogram is, and to learn how to draw one. But first, let's start off with a little bit of a warm-up. I'm going to show you a set of different items. I want you to look at the picture, and very quickly estimate how many items you think there are in the set. Are you ready? Okay, first picture. Here's a bunch of daisies. Pause the video and write down how many daisies you think there were. Well, the answer was 45. Did you get close? Let's try another. Here's a set of pencils. See how many you think there are, and pause the video. Write down your estimate. Well, there were 16 pencils all together. Let's go for one last one. Have a look at this set of sweets. How many sweets do you think there are? Pause the video. Give it a try. Ah, uh, there's 20 sweets all together. We're all warmed up and ready to jump into the lesson. Now, you might have heard that strange word I used at the start of the lesson, pictogram. And you might be thinking to yourself, what is a pictogram? Well, pause the video and write down what you think it might be. Well, when we have lots of different objects all together in a set, like in our warm up, it's a lot easier to sort them into a grid to see how many of each item there are. Pictograms are the simplest way of showing data using pictures instead of crosses or numbers or anything like that. Think of pictograms like a way of sorting the items out, like being very organized. So on the left hand side we have the raw data, which is them all just mixed up on a picture like this. And on the right hand side, when we sort them into their correct colors, we can make a pictogram. Raw data is messy, like these paint splats here. It would be very hard to answer lots of word problem questions about these paint splatters when they're all mixed up. So instead, let's organize them into a pictogram. Draw a pictogram grid like this. The colors go down one side of the grid, and the numbers go along the other side. Now we can fill in the pictogram with the raw data we have. Can you remember how many green splats there were? Well, let's go back and check. Count them up. So you should have five green splats. All we do is organize them onto the pictogram by drawing the five green splats. Let's try the same thing again with the yellow splats. Count up how many yellows there are. That's right, there's three of them. We go back to our pictogram and we put them in like this. Let's do the same thing again for blue splats. We'll go back, we'll count them up. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we'll go back to our pictogram and put them in. And we'll finish off with the red splats. Let's count them up. There's one, two, three, four red splats. And we draw them in like this. The very last thing we need to put on our pictogram is a title so that people reading it know what these colors are. And once we've done that, we've completed the pictogram. And see how much easier it is to read the data now that it's on the pictogram, as opposed to before when it was all messy all over the sheet. Now that we've drawn our pictogram, we can answer some questions on it. Put paper and pen ready to answer a few questions on this pictogram. Question 1. What colour has the most amount of splats? Pause the video and write down your answer. Well, you should have got blue has got the most splats with six altogether. Let's try another one. Which color had the least amount of splats? Pause the video and write down your answer. Well, the answer is yellow with three splats. 
a slightly more difficult one. How many fewer yellow splats than green splats are there? Pause the video and write down your answer. Well, altogether we have got five green splats and we have three yellow splats. So the difference between the two is two splats. Let's have one more of those. How many more blue splats than red splats are there? Pause the video and write down your answer. Well, there were six blue splats and only four red splats. So the difference again is two splats. Okay, it's practice time. Let's see how much you learned about pictograms today. Take a look around the room that you're in. See how many blue, red, yellow, and green things you can see in 20 seconds. When you've done that, I want you to draw a pictogram to show me how many blue, red, yellow, and green things are in the room you're in. Pause the video and take your time to draw a pictogram. I'll leave this one up here to remind you of all the important parts of a pictogram. Pause the video now. Feel free to send me those wonderful pictograms so I can take a look at them. So our waltz for today was to understand what a pictogram is and to learn how to draw one. Can you do that now? If you can, you're ready to start the practice activities down below. If not, maybe have another look at the video to brush up. That's all we have time for today. Until next time, take care.